guys so with the biggest race hustler on the planet um patrice colors of black lives matter now retired right retired out of the gate she made her money and then she dipped off to live in her gated mansion um we still have some og race hustlers still in the game okay and the og that i'm talking about here today is no other than sean king aka talcum x okay aka third good partial aka <laughs> pale revere aka tupac Shagor, alexander scamerton snow j simpson web the fraud okay um he is getting called out about his scamming ways and quite honestly guys i i don't know how these guys still have a career i really don't right i i, I really don't and i'm gonna tell you this man will raise money off of anything okay right like one of the first videos on my channel was actually about sean king way back in the day last year in which he was trying to raise money off the death of chadwick bozeman who played black panther he died last year and in the email like the first line or so was like oh rest in peace to uh chadwick bozeman you know blah 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 and then after that it was like buy my book right obviously trying to use his death to make a quick buck right it's really slimy it's really slimy and now Tariel rice's mom is ripping sean king for profiting off her son's death again these guys are ambulance chasers dude right and i i don't understand for the life of me how they continue to raise money but let's read here Tamir Rice's mom slammed Sean King in a scathing social media post calling him a self-centered person who can't be trusted and a white man acting black. <laughs> Samaria Rice was apparently set off by King publishing details of a conversation they had after she previously blasted King and others accusing them of benefiting from the death of her 12-year-old son who was shot by Cleveland police while playing with a toy gun. Um, if you guys remember uh, Samaria Rice, she went in on other um blm activists like tamika mallory and i think she might have been one of the ones calling out patrice colors as well right in reference to how um they all went down there right talking about social justice and, and raising money off her dead son's name while not really giving a damn about her or even supporting her financially okay even though she was going through some hard times Okay, it's kind of messed up, man. Quote, why do you think it's so important to tell folks we had a conversation, Rice wrote in an Instagram post addressed to King. Well, we talked and everything that was said was very toxic and uncomfortable for me to hear that you raised additional money and then said you did not want to bother me. Personally, I don't understand how you sleep at night, she wrote. I never gave you permission to raise nothing, Rice went on. Along with the United States, you robbed me for the death of my son. Okay, so I think what she's getting at here is the fact that Sean King, again, they will do scammy things like say, oh, I had a conversation with Samaria Rice. OK, but won't detail what the actual conversation was about, but they'll do that to say, well, you know, I, I'm in with her. I'm talking to her. So that's what he's doing here. And I think that's why she's calling him out. King had posted an episode of his podcast under the title, I Spoke to Samira Rice this past week, but the episode appears to have been removed from his website. Again, clickbait. That's literally clickbait. That's what it is. It was a much needed conversation he wrote on the page for the episode. I learned a lot, listened a lot, shared my heart and pledge. He would continue to fight to get justice and accountability for Tamir. Samira Rice uh started the tamir rice foundation in 2017 three years after the death of her son rice and king uh, apparently fell out over king's fundraising efforts in the name of tamir in a post on his website tuesday king outlined how he had raised a total of about one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars through several fundraisers and didn't receive a penny for his efforts he also had nothing to do with the disbursement of the money he stayed at okay so how is it that you raise this money and you say you didn't make any money off of it, right? You didn't profit off of it, but yet you had nothing to do with disbursement of funds, right? Like, wouldn't you want to be involved in making sure that these funds are dispersed to the right place? Wouldn't you want to be involved in that? I find it weird how he said, well, listen, I raised all this money off his name. I didn't profit off of it. And I also didn't have anything to do with where it went. 
Okay, so where did it go then? Do you, do you know where it went, or it's just you had nothing to do with it? Again, wh why would you raise money for somebody and then not care about where it goes? I really don't understand. He added that Rice may have been misled about his efforts. King outlined how he and Rice had met earlier last week after one of the staffers on his team at the Grassroot Law Project worked alongside the Tamir Rice Foundation. Quote, my first question for the organizer on our team was whether or not uh, Tamir's mother was aware I was that I led the Grassroots Law Project, King said. She was. I was surprised because the past few months, Samaria had included my name in a list of activists and organizers and attorneys that she was frustrated with. He said in the meeting he apologized to Rice for uh, not actually being her face in 2014 and 2015 and wrongly assuming that the people around her were doing right by her. Quote, in an attempt to stay out of her hair and give her space, I left her more alone than I understood. King said, I regret that tremendously and moving forward, I will make sure it never happens that way again. <laughs> so essentially what he's saying is that, well, I'm sorry that I raised money off your son, but I never actually talked to you or spoke to you or gave a damn about you. That's essentially what he's saying. Everything else, every harsh word said about me, every lie spread by people about my work for Samaria, I just have to let go of for her and for Tamir. But Rice in her Instagram post said King gave her a, a cop and a donut conversation. Quote, all lies, Sean. Please stop thinking we on the same page. She said, as a white man acting black, you are an imposter that you can't be trusted. She wanted to say her son's human rights were violated and renewed her call for a new federal investigation into Tamir's death. You are a self-centered person and God will deal with you, white man, she wrote. An email from the Post to Representative of King wasn't immediately returned on Wednesday. Okay, so um, Sean King is having a fallout with Samiria, uh Rice, Tamir Rice's mother. And honestly, guys, this is like, what, the second or third video I've done in regards to Samiria Rice being upset. I've done videos about Michael Brown's father being upset. And guys, you know, I, I really do feel bad for these parents, okay? Because they did lose a child, okay? And in a tragic way. And I think that, you know, th that can be a lot of emotions involved when you become a national name because of your child's death. And then you have all these people that come out here and, you know, say this and say that. And they just raise a bunch of money, but they don't really give a damn about you. They don't really give a damn about the pain that you're going through or, you know, what you've suffered. All they really care about is themselves and making money, okay? And I can understand why they're frustrated. I think what makes it worse is when you see hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars being raised uh, in the name of your son and daughter, and then you're not seeing any benefits from it. I think that's frustrating because these people are probably struggling like everybody else. You know, if anybody deserves to profit off of that death, it's the parents. You don't, the strangers don't deserve to profit off the death of people they don't know while the parents of those that died are struggling financially okay i think samaria rice was homeless at one point okay H how is that possible how is that these people raised all this money for her child but yet the mother the mother of that child was homeless it doesn't make sense but that's the blm grift okay that's the grift profiting off of dead kids and mostly dead black men Okay, in the name of social justice. And then once they get done with that, they retire and then they go off the scene uh, like Patrice Cullors did. I'm just surprised that Sean King is still in the game and that this man still has the ability to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't get it, right? He's been accused of so much fraudulent activity. I, I don't understand how people are still donating money to this dude. I don't. But like I said, you know, I'm not surprised he's being called out again. It won't be the last time he'll be called out and uh, he'll, I guess every time he gets called out, he'll he'll be roasted every single time because everybody knows this guy is an ambulance chaser, right? He just is, okay? Um, so let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.